Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a pizza bubble up bake. What we're going to use in our bubble up bake is some biscuits. And I'm using three cans of any kind of biscuits you want to use. Mine are home style. You know, the 10 biscuits in a can. This is a 7.5 ounce can and they come four bundled up in a pack. And you're going to take your biscuit here. You're going to cut your biscuit in half and cut, cut your half in half. And do that to your three cans of biscuits. We're just going to start dumping stuff in. This is my leftover homemade pizza sauce that I used in my ravioli bake. Two and a half to three cups of some kind of pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you want to use. You know, this is already doctored up with garlic and onion and lots of Italian seasoning. Okay, now goes in a cup of chopped onion that I had it to use up out of the fridge. Two cans of the 2.25 ounce of sliced black olives goes in. You use any kind of pizza toppings that you like. Like if you're going to put sausage or hamburger in here, cook it up in the skillet first, drain it from its grease, and then put it in here. You can use bell pepper, any other stuff that you like on your pizza. We're going to add two of the 6.5 ounce cans of sliced mushrooms, drained. I also drained the black olives real good. We're going to use a whole 6 ounce pack of pepperoni, but then we're also going to save some from the package to top the bubble up. You just put as much stuff as you want in. Now we're going to come with about a cup and a half of some shredded mozzarella and then we're going to top it with some more. You can put some parmesan cheese in here and it goes into a greased baking dish. Spread it out. Then we're coming with some more shredded mozzarella cheese. Top it off with your leftover pepperoni that you put to the side. Now we're going to pop it in the oven. I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. All right, our pizza bubble up bake is done. And I went exactly 40 minutes. Now if your top is not brown as like you like it, then stick it under the broiler for about three to four minutes. It's totally up to you. I let it cool for about 10 minutes before I start digging into it. Cause it's popping hot without well, the melty, ooey gooey cheese. We're going to put some in a bowl, and then we're going to top with some chopped basil. It's totally optional. I have some that I needed to use up. And then serve it with the side salad, and then you have a perfect dinner. There you have it. Pizza bubble up bake. 